Now that we've opened up Anaconda Navigator, there are a couple of ways you can start to use Python right away. So on a PC or on a Mac, you can just start by opening JupyterLab. So click the launch button and it'll launch JupyterLab. This opens up a new browser and you see the JupyterLab interface. So you're doing a web browser and your computer locally is hosting a JupyterLab server. I just can open up a new notebook if I want, Python 3. And then you can just start Pythoning. So I can put here an expression like, so this is a very basic Python command, print hello world. And if I hit shift and return or shift enter, it executes the command. Let's do it again. Here I assign A to five, B, assign a value of seven, C equals A plus B. I hit enter, nothing happens. Well, something happened, but I didn't show it. So I'll put here print C. And you'll see it prints 12. Okay, so we have a running Jupyter Notebook here. This is actually a Jupyter Lab book, which is, I think, better than Jupyter Notebook. Going back to the Mac, we have a very similar thing. You can actually use Jupyter Lab. Again, Jupyter Lab is newer than Jupyter Notebook, so I recommend Jupyter Lab. You get some nicer features. Or you can go to the terminal and you can type Jupyter Lab like this. And it'll do the same thing. It'll pop up a browser and it will start the Jupyter Lab interface. So here's the new browser. And just as before, we can open up a new Python kernel. This one, I've created more kernels, so I have more things available to me. But here's, let's just do the basic Python 3. Um, I believe it's that. And you can do the same thing. If you want to save your work, you can file save notebook, and then you'll get a chance to name the file and, and all of that. You'll have to kind of pay attention to where it's saved, but that's, that's a discussion for later. Um, I'm not going to save the file necessarily. We'll just go file, uh, close and shut down notebook, and then file and shut down. So now we close Jupyter Lab. Uh, this session is closed, uh, so I can close it on the browser. Going back to Windows, we'll do the same thing. File, close and shut down notebook and then file, shut down. And our Jupyter Lab is going to go away. It stopped, the server stopped. It's not gonna do anything. We can close our notebook now from the browser, that is. All right, so I showed you how to start Python in Jupyter Labs, and then we can do some basic commands, and then we can shut it down.